Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing my Q&A video that I announced two videos ago. Yeah, so you guys gave me a lot of great questions and I printed them out right here. So I have the list. I asked you guys what you wanted to know about me personally or these could be makeup related questions, anything you guys wanted. And you asked a lot of great ones. So let's get right into those. But before we do, look at how huge my eyelashes are today. For those of you who don't know, I have been trying as hard as I can to grow, grow I literally can't speak today. I have been really trying to grow my lashes out and just really working them to death when I do my mascara and they look freaking huge today, so I'm pretty damn happy. Anyway, let's get right into the questions. Cheryl F. asked me, what was the first cosmetic you purchased? Uh, the first cosmetic product that I ever, like, purchased besides like what was given to me from makeup artist or that I used from my mom's collection was a quad. It was a quad by Revlon. It was a smoky palette and it had a gray, a matte black, a highlight color and a shimmery shade. It was really not great quality. This was like a nine years ago almost and yeah so that was my first cosmetic purchase. Eureka Loves Makeup asked me, would you ever stop wearing makeup to make a guy like you? No. No, I would definitely not uh, as you guys know from watching me. Makeup is probably the thing I am most obsessed about in my life and it's really important to me so no, uh, if, if a guy didn't like the fact that I do makeup or that I wear it then sorry, not for me. My Ta asked what makeup products do you suggest for beginners and which high-end products are worth the price? Uh, I really think that when you're first getting into makeup, the most important thing to really do is perfect the skin. Uh, eyeshadow, eyeliner, all those crazy cut crease tricks that you learn, that's not something you should try to be doing in the beginning. You should really try to get the foundation right and just the basics. So invest in a really good foundation. I recommend the Maybelline Fit Me, the L'Oreal Magic Nude, uh, the L'Oreal True Match is also really great. A high-end alternative would be the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. That's one you really can't go wrong with. It's fabulous. Makeup Forever also has an HD foundation that is great. Those two are ones that I really feel are worth the money. They're not like super ridiculously expensive like a Tom Ford foundation, but they are definitely a good starting piece to introduce into your collection for high-end makeup if you've mostly been only buying drugstores. So those are two that I really recommend. But yeah, again, I really think that for beginners, you don't necessarily want to spend $30 on like eyeshadow singles from Kevin Kwan or Marc Jacobs mascara. You really should just get the basics and just play around with things. Anything from Wet n Wild is going to be a really great deal. The CoverGirl Lash Blast Length is a fabulous mascara. As you guys know, it is my favorite. And for high end, my the only really high end mascara that I've ever tried is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes, which is what I have on today. So that's really the only mascara I can recommend to you guys that's high end. When you when it comes to highlighters, you really can't go wrong with investing a little bit more money into highlighters. I've seen a lot of drugstore ones and they're quite chalky or they're just glitter and look really awful on the skin. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette or the single powders are very expensive, but they are totally worth the money. They don't look like glitter, they're just a very pretty sheen to the skin. I'm wearing one right now, this is Luminous Light. And yeah, so if you're gonna invest in a highlighter, I would definitely go with something from Hourglass or the Becca Opal Skin Perfect, I don't know what it's called, the one that Jaclyn Hill talks about all the time, or the Kevin Aquan Candlelight Highlighter, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, there are a lot of great things, but highlighter is definitely one of the products and foundation where I think you could definitely spend a little bit more money. And eyeshadows, mascara, no, eyeliner, it doesn't matter. You can get that at the drugstore. But as for face products, yeah, I really think those are the things where you should invest a little bit more money into. Peter Vuong asked, what brushes would you recommend for powder, for powder contouring and powder highlighting? Really, it's completely personal preference. Uh, the two brushes, the brush that I use for highlighting is actually not supposed to be used for highlighting. Uh, I use a, I'm using the Coastal Sense powder brush. I don't know the number of it. It's currently being washed right now, so I'm not going to show it to you guys. But it's just a fluffy dome powder brush, and that's actually what I use to deposit highlighter on the tops of my cheek. Or I love the Coastal Sense fan brush to use as well. Um, as for contouring, the Sigma F40 is my favorite angled contour brush. That one's absolutely amazing. 
And as for just regular bronzing up the skin and highlighting and contouring, the brush that I probably use absolutely the most is the Contour Blush Brush from the IT Collection from Sephora. It is a limited edition set. I've, sh I've talked about it before in another video, but that one's definitely my favorite. It's very small and rounded, so you can really get into the hollows of the cheeks to contour, or you can set the under eye with some loose powder or highlight the cheeks. So th that's my favorite brush for highlighting and contouring, or the Sigma F40, since that one is still available and you can buy that now. Uh, another question from Cheryl was, if you could have one beauty vlogger as your real BFF, who would you choose? Okay, that's super easy. I would of course pick Tati, Glam Life Guru here on YouTube. She is just amazing. Everything that she tells me to buy, every, everything that she tells me to buy, everything that she recommends I end up buying and it's it's a problem. She, she just has a way of describing things and just the way she speaks, it's so soothing and relaxing and she's her personality is just great, so I think I would really get along with her very well, and I've been dying to meet her, so if I ever get the chance, I would definitely try to make her my real BFF. <laughs> Mario Hernandez asked, what got you into makeup, and what inspired you to make YouTube videos? Um, as I've said in one of my videos before, I started modeling when I was three for Baby Gap, and then since then, I have been doing print work and commercials and extra roles, and as such, my makeup would have to be done on set. And so, basically, I got into makeup because I would just ask the makeup artist, hey, what are you putting on my face? What are you doing right now? And it was just really cool and really interesting to me, so that is how I got started into doing makeup. And how did I get inspired to make YouTube videos? It's something that I have always wanted to do. The very first YouTube video that I ever saw was one of Tiffany D's makeup tutorials and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so cool to do. I know so much about this stuff from work. And it took me maybe another four years to actually get the guts to start my channel and I'm so glad I did. It's been so much fun making videos for you guys and I would really recommend anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel to just do it. It opens so many doors, I've made so many friends, and there's really no downside to it. I mean, if people don't like your videos, okay, whatever. The people that like your videos and watch your videos every week, those are the ones that you are making your videos for. That's what you should care about. Um, if you get mean comments or you're scared that you might get mean comments, that's gonna happen, unfortunately, but you're making your videos for your subscribers, so if you wanna do YouTube, then do it. And I haven't looked back since, I love it. Brainy Crafter asked, this is, he asked actually a lot of questions, so I'm gonna combine them. So how old are you? Do you have any siblings? What's your ethnicity? And do you actually wear your makeup looks you show us in your videos? I am 20 years old. I am turning 20 in July, July 7th. I, I'm turning 21 in July, on July 7th. I literally, I don't know what's going on with me today, guys. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm losing light, it's really dark, so forgive me. My ethnicity is a mystery, not really. I mean, it, it, technically, yes, it's a mystery. I was adopted from Vietnam. I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure that I am 100% Vietnamese, but of course, I don't know my birth parents. No one really knows anything about them. I could be mixed, so there's always a possibility that I could be something other than just Vietnamese, but for the time being, on my birth certificate and what I tell people is that I'm Vietnamese. In high school I used to tell people I was mixed, but now I'm very, very proud of being Vietnamese, so I am Vietnamese. Do I actually wear the makeup looks that I show you guys in my videos? No. Uh, if it's a get ready with me, obviously, yeah, or a no makeup makeup look, then yes, I do wear those at work, to school, wherever I'm going, but the I look Monday looks? No, I don't wear those anywhere. If I were to wear one somewhere, it probably would only be to iMats or like at a convention or something like that or if I was doing a makeup class. But but no, I don't ever wear the eye looks that I do for you guys, just the like foundation routines and those kinds of things. Another question from Cheryl is, what do you do for work and your favorite part of the job? So I work at a hotel in my area. Uh, I am the concierge agent for the property, so basically I'll just recommend restaurants to them, make reservations there, I'll help them decide what they should do for their stay and whatnot, and also I do act as a front desk agent as well, so I'll check people in, find a room for them, switch rooms if there's a problem, and then check them out at the end of their stay. Uh, my favorite part of the job is the fact that I get to do both. I'm not 
solely a front desk agent and I am also not just a concierge. The fact that I get to do both is really nice. Uh, some of my coworkers who are only front desk agents get very stressed out sometimes and I like that I'm able to sometimes step away from the desk and do and go do my own other thing and somewhere else and do and do that. So it's nice that I get to do both and that's probably my favorite thing besides the people. If any of you guys from work are watching this, you already know how much I love you guys, my second family, so yeah. Besides the people, it would be my dual responsibility. Another question from Brainy Crafter was, what did your family think of it in the beginning and what do they think now? And that's in rel that's pertaining to YouTube, like my YouTube channel. My family I don't think all of my family actually knows that I have a YouTube channel yet. Most of my family lives sprawled across the country. Uh, my parents are the only ones who live in the same town as me. And they, my mom thinks it's kind of cool. She sometimes will tell me that she will watch my videos uh, if she needs a tip or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Once my channel maybe gets a little bit bigger or when I see my family members, I'll probably talk to them a little bit more about it. But as of right now, not really anyone knows. I'm not necessarily hiding it. I just don't see those family members all the time so that's really the only thing but knowing how my family is they'd be really excited and supportive of it and a lot of my family members don't know how to do makeup so I think they would more so be just really excited that they now get a get to learn how to do it from one of their relatives. Another question from, oh I never answered their sibling question. Yes, I have a few siblings. I have three sisters and one brother. Two of my sisters are from my father's first marriage and my brother and sister are from my dad's second marriage and we are there's quite a large age difference between us because I was adopted. My brother is 10 years older than me. My sister on my my father's second marriage is 12 years older than me, and then my two other sisters are both more than 20 years older than me. So guys, I think I answered all of your questions. There were a couple repeats in here, like why did I get into makeup, or what made me start doing YouTube. But yes, yeah, so, oh no, there was one more, are you in a relationship? Yes, I am. So that concludes all of the questions, guys. Thank you so much for asking them. I had a lot of fun doing this. It was great to tell you a little bit more about myself. I know we always just talk about makeup, makeup, makeup all the time. So it was nice to hear what you guys were curious about me and let you know the answers to those questions. Oh my gosh, this video, I can't even today. I'm so sorry, guys, this video. I don't know what's going on with me today. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on Monday for Monday's eye look. I will actually be doing one this week. I know, I've been really bad about doing them for the past few weeks, but I will have one out this Monday. And also, next Thursday's video is going to be a Walgreens haul. I went there a few days ago, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got while I was there. And yeah, if you have any recommendations for Monday's eye look or next Thursday's video, let me know in the comment bar down below. I'm thinking maybe doing like a top five, some like category of products, top five highlighters, top five foundations. I'm thinking something along those lines. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Thank you all. And I'll catch you later. All right. Bye. I see your monsters, I see your pain Tell me your problems, I'll chase them away I'll be your lighthouse, I'll make it okay When I see your monsters, I'll stand there so brave And chase them all away